Hello, 3D printing friends. It's time once again for another Monoprice Mod Mondays on the BB3D channel. Today's mod is a bit like bed knobs and broomsticks, only without the broomsticks. Stick around and I'll explain. I'm Brian, and you are watching BV3D. So today's mod is all about bed leveling knobs, or you may call them bed adjustment knobs, or maybe even those things you twist at the corner of the bed so the first layer doesn't suck. Well, whatever moniker you apply to these objects, the ones that come with the printer may not be the best. Some printers simply have wing nuts, and the monoprice makers are like pluses bed knobs or metal discs with some ridges around the rim like a coin. They can be difficult to get a grip on sometimes, especially if you're trying to make on-the-fly adjustments to the bed height. If you take the concept of ridges to the extreme, you get something like gear teeth. And I like things with a gear motif, so why not design something in Tinkercad that'll hold an M3 nut, look like a gear, and allow us to make easy bed height adjustments. I can't think of a reason not to, so let's get to it. Okay, so here we are in Tinkercad, which has given us a delightful name, Fabulous Floopy Doop. We're going to change that to Bed Adjustment Gear, because that's what we're making. We're going to start by getting some parts that we need. Uh, I'm going to gather up all of the components and then we're going to make adjustments on them. The first thing we need is to get a gear out of Shape Generators. So go to Shape Generators and All, and then scroll down and grab that gear that you see there on that first page. We're going to make the changes to these in a minute. Let's go back to Basic Shapes. We are also going to need a cone. We are going to need a polygon. That needs to be a hole. That's going to be a cutting tool for us. It's going to cut out of our parts. We need a cylinder, which will also be a hole. We need a box, which will also be a hole. And lastly, we need a tube, which we will turn into a hole once we drop it on the work plane. Okay, let's turn our attention to the gear. We have a couple of changes we need to make to it. We need to set it so that it's uh, outer radius is 12.5 millimeters. Its inner radius is 11 millimeters. We need it to have 16 teeth. We need it to have a height of about 3 millimeters. Okay, so we've got that. We've got that done. That is going to form the basis of our adjustment knob. So let's uh, move that off to the side a little bit. Now we'll turn our attention to the cone. We are going to make a couple of adjustments to that. We're going to set the height to 10 millimeters. We are going to set the number of sides to the maximum of 64 because we want it to be smooth. We'll set that off to the side now. Next, we're going to work on that polygon. That's a hexagon, and so that's going to represent the recess for the, um, the M3 nut. In order to be able to scale this easily, I'm changing the snap grid to 0.1 millimeter. Let's zoom in on the hexagon. What we want to do is we want to get this down to where the that narrow side is about five and a half millimeters. And so this is just about right. Almost, there we go. And we need to set the height to about three millimeters. Because that's really about all the thickness that we need for that M3 nut. Okay, so let's uh, move that off to the side. And now we'll work on the cylinder. That's going to be the, uh, the screw hole. So we need the sides to be 64, and we need the diameter to be about 3.25 millimeters. That's just big enough to allow the screw shaft to pass through it. And we'll set that off to the side. Next, we're going to use this box. That's going to flatten things out for us on the top. So it's fine with the dimensions that it has, but we need to have it up off of the work plane about four and a half millimeters. And now we need to make some adjustments to the tube. The tube is going to need a radius of 9.75 millimeters, a wall thickness of two millimeters, Adjust the number of sides, again, to the maximum of 64 for smoothness. And we need to raise this up off of the work plane about two and a half millimeters. We'll key that in, and then we're good. So what we're going to do at this point is select all of these objects, and then we're going to use the alignment tool. 
and we're going to align them on centers for uh, X and Y. And with those aligned, we're going to group them. And that will apply all of the cuts and everything that we need. That is the effect that I'm going for. And if you look underneath, you'll see that it's got the recess for the M3 nut. And then on the top, we've got the hole for the, the bed screw. And that's, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and select that and export it out. And then we can slice it and print it. Okay, so I've sliced and printed these. I've got one here in my hand. I printed these using MG Chemicals PETG uh, at 0.3 millimeter layer height and a 260 degree nozzle and 70 degree bed. I printed them at 0.3 millimeter because I don't need a lot of detail on these parts and a lower resolution on the Z axis means a faster print. Now we'll have a close up of these in just a second because we need to install the nut in the, in the adjustment knob. Um, I think these turned out pretty well. But anyway, to install the nuts, some people choose to press them in with a pair of pliers, but another way to do it is to use a screw and pull the nut into the part, and that's what we're going to do. So here we have our parts laid out. We've got our bed adjustment gears, and we're going to insert a screw into the top of this, and then we're going to thread an M3 nut onto it. Once we've got that far enough down, we can line the, oh, hold on a second, adjust the focus. We can line that nut up with the opening that is designed for it. And we'll hold that in place and grab a driver and tighten that screw down. And doing that, we'll pull the nut into the part. Then we can unscrew that and there we go. There is our completed part with the nut installed. I actually think they turned out pretty good. Well, let's go install them on the printer. So this part is really pretty easy. Just pinch the bed toward the carriage plate and unscrew the original leveling nut. And then pinch the two together again and apply the new part that we made, the bed leveling gear. Now, if you need to do on-fly adjustments, you can do it with kind of finger pressure just along the side of it. Okay, repeat that maneuver three more times for the remaining corners and you'll be done installing this mod. After that, you'll need to level the bed, but making those leveling adjustments will be easier. So, was this a printer mod video or a Tinkercat tutorial? Why not both? It can be both, can't it? <laughs> anyway, there's a link to the bed adjustment gear in the description. So now we're at the part of the video where I say things like like, subscribe, and share, because those three things really do help the channel. If you know somebody who has a Monoprice Maker Select Plus, or a Wenhow Duplicator i3 Plus, or one of the other derivatives of this printer, share this video with them. If you liked this episode, give it a thumbs up, and if you didn't, give it a thumbs down, but either way, leave your thoughts in the comments. If you like the content I'm producing, please consider supporting the channel with a one-time micropayment. If you're so inclined, you could buy me a coffee. Mmm, coffee. Or leave a little something in the PayPal tip jar. Either one of these is greatly appreciated. Both of these would be doubly appreciated. Well, that's about all the time we have today. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so by clicking the BB3D icon right over here and ring that bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Speaking of videos, here's one YouTube thinks you might enjoy. Well, I'm going to go print something cool. You do the same. I will see you next time.